one who are even fine. As the poet says, and well said too, because we all know life is not a palace path, smooth and even, never at all. Life is full of ups and downs. Life is full of ups and downs, pleasure and pain, constant companion. Pleasure and pain are its constant companion that actually constitute the essential and integral part of all life. This is Ranjan Sar here and I am going to teach you something today quite relevant to what I have just said. And you can see, if you look at the screen, you can see some coins are there. So, yes, you could guess properly, I think, and it is the autobiography of a coin. Now, you can use it as your project work in your class in 9, 10, 11, and 12, or any other classes or any other purpose. And you can also use it as essay or paragraph. Okay. If it comes as a project work, then you have to write in the front page or in the very next page. You have to write name of the students, subject, name of the school, class, roll number, registration number, year, and the signature of the teacher. So these are part of the project work. And if not, then you will not write that. And it's acknowledgement. This, this is also part of the project. If, it, if you have to write it in the form of the project, or for the purpose of the project, you have to write the acknowledgement in the very next page after the after the content. So what to write under acknowledgement or what to write here? I'm grateful to friends and above all our English teacher because this is the English project. So our English teacher, Mr. Ranjan Kumar Bhattacharji, without whose help and cooperation, this valuable project work on writing an autobiography could not have been an artistic work of fiction and reality so these are part of your project work okay now what is the topic if it comes in the form of your essay or paragraph you have to write right from here and then previous parts have to be omitted and if it comes uh, as your project and if you have to write in the form of the project you have to write right from the beginning okay then if it comes in the form of the essay then what to write as you know autobiography of a coin or autobiography of anybody you have to write whether it is uh, actually uh, living or non-living thing does not matter you have to write in the first person narrative so autobiography is always uh, a first person narrative so whether it is non-living thing or living thing does not matter so a uh, coin actually is a non-living thing but still you have to think that it has its it has been attributed to life so accordingly this living creature and as a living being, it is narrating its life story. Okay, so what to write in case of autobiography of a coin? I am a five rupee coin. I was born and baptized in the mill at Hyderabad in 1981 when Indira Gandhi was the Prime Minister of India. On my face was the imprint of the effigy of Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, holding a branch of paddy, and on the other was stamped with my value offering to my bearers. So next, then one day my adventurous journey began when I was taken to a bank and preserved in an iron chest. I could not stay there for long. I felt suffocated. However, my initial life of idleness snapped with involuntary locomotion in pursuit of rolling life for progress beyond frontiers. Soon a goldsmith came to the bank to withdraw some amount. Initially, he was reluctant to take me, but my gaudy look impressed him so much that he eventually decided to carry me along with others. I felt how outward beauty traps viewers imperceptibly as the Indian jugglers do. Since then, I went on rolling like wheel of a car, sometimes traveled in a purse, sometimes wallet. And again, sometimes in pocket. And I moved from Hyderabad to Kolkata, from Kolkata to Dubai, Dubai to Los Angeles, and again back to India in a 
in an endless process moving here and there everywhere hmm? with 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 somebody generally with somebody now just like a globe globe trotter i travel from one place to another from goldsmith to a merchant from merchant to an mp and the like thus indeed traveling was a joy to me one day my master bought me a kulfi bought a kulfi from a passing vendor for his daughter on returning home at the end of a day while counting his day's earnings he kept me separated from others and then posted to a pocket of his old shabby shirt hung on the wall of his thatched house old and dilapidated there are some others there who were looking pale and deserted i too became sad and sullen at their miserable plight i thought my days of adventure came to an end but what a change of fortune i could not but think of a golden past in introspection relax and recharge my motionless momentum imprisonment how i wandered from place to place i thought sometimes in company of millionaires sometimes in company of pretty young ladies in city malls banquet halls marriage party and what not and where not how happy i was then my joy knew no bounds when i thought of reality i would lose my sense how i fell from rosy days to a ditch of darkness but thanks god thank god thank to his 8 year old son who rescued me from such sedentary life to a life of motion a life proper in true sense of the term he stole me from the vendor's pocket and went straight to an open field behind city bastion where few vagabonds assembled to play gamble with marble there was much he went cried he did talk an occasional squabble as found generally occurring in squalid dwellings every now and then sometimes even like minded partners were seen engaged in petty quarrels over winning or losing a match really it's a hobble culture amid such frequent wrathful outbursts the match went on until one quit the ground either winning few or losing all however the vendor son was was one such losing side who didn't give up the field until he became bankrupt luckily i was owned by cousin of a son of a clerk working in an working in an engineering college he took me out he took me to the world of his uncle's multi storied building at mendicant street but he lost me while he was bathing in the swimming pool on the roof i remained there for a couple of days under water as none visited it during those days only when astha their maid servant went to clean it i came to there to her notice and she rescued me to the safe drawer where the little master of the house used to store all his wealth i was happy there to a certain extent but it did not last long so so much ups and downs in my life so this rightly said it's rightly said happiness is an occasional episode in the general drama of pain so my happiness came i felt but could not conquer my little master brought me out of his safe along with others with his fist in one go he went to play the final of the district badminton championship but while dressing i was dropped from his pocket and went rolling to the corner of the stair in the in the stadium he searched me a lot but could not trace me i remained there all night shivering in cold foggy winter of december until a nomad entered into the stadium even before the entry of the sweeper for cleaning in the morning and went straight close fisted to their tent at platform number 17 no smart did she reach there then her elder brother came running to grab the amount from his small sister she vehemently opposed him 
She was desperate not to share her earnings with anybody. But a tender girl, what to do? Tender girl had to surrender with her masculine strength, failing to resist her brother. She went on beating, scratching, and finally requested, winning to get back her lost treasure. At her tenacity, he lost his temper. He threw me to the railway track. I bounced up and down a couple of times. Hardly had she approached to collect me when an express train whizzed past them, turning me into a thin plate of capronical. Thus I died untimely an unknown death in a clash of clans, an eternal battle among us over property since antiquity. So my dear students, this is what and how to write the autobiography of non-living object, non-living thing, or how to write an autobiography, just covering all the aspects, the ups and downs in everybody's life, which are essential part of every living being or every living creature. So my dear students, if you understand, and I think you understood, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that as soon as I upload my new video, it immediately reaches your end and you can get its benefit and you can also allow others to enjoy the benefit. So if you have any query, if you still have any doubt in any topic in English, you please send it in, your, in my comment box and I will try to solve the matter and upload it for you. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot.